Okay, Trucker Steve here. I have two students. They have yet to go on the, on the road in a tractor trailer. My advice to the students is get in the truck and practice your coordination, practice motor skills, back clutching. If you look at the clutch, the clutch is higher than the brake pedal. All you need to do is when you shift, is to put the clutch down even with the brake pedal. Go ahead. He's going to press it down. It's kind of even, maybe a little bit more deeper. There it is. No more than about two inches. That's all you need. The only time that clutch goes to the floor is when the vehicle's at a complete stop. And then you're trying to get first gear reverse or your second gear to get going. When you're shifting, it's all technique. A little bit of coordination. It's all technique, it's a rhythm. Clutch a neutral, clutch the gear. Or use your name, Bill Smith. Bill Smith. So first we're gonna work with the left foot. When I say clutch the neutral, put your foot on there, clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. Ready? Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. It's not real fast, it's not too slow, it's a rhythm. Clutch neutral, clutch the gear. Good job. Clutch neutral, clutch the gear. Clutch neutral, clutch the gear. Clutch neutral, clutch the gear. Good job. Now we're gonna to try to get the hand involved with the shifter. So it's gonna come up, we're gonna come up a little bit and look at the foot and the hand. So hopefully the hand and the feet need to work together. Put it towards, uh, find the gear. Okay, ready? Clutch neutral. Clutch the gear. See what he made a mistake? He went all the way straight down. It's a little, it's only about half an inch. Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. Ready? Let's go and try again. Ready? Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. See, he went all the way back. That's called practice, coordination. You gotta get the hand and the feet working. Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. 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 Okay, so if you do that for 15 or 20 minutes, take a break, come on back, do it again. 15 minutes. Get your coordination and motor skills working right. Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. Clutch the neutral, clutch the gear. Now we're gonna start the truck up, another practice. Make sure to the hood is down, which it is. Start her up. Now we're not going to touch the shifter, but we're just going to work with her foot. We're going to do it like simulated downshift. We're going to clutch, rev, clutch. We want this RPMs right now, since it's idling, RPMs is below 10. When we drive on the road, RPMs are going to be somewhere around 10. You're going to clutch. Rev it up to about 14 and clutch the gear. Let's see what happens. Clutch, rev, clutch. That's a poor clutch, rev. Clutch, rev, clutch. There it is, there it is. Clutch, rev, clutch. Clutch, rev, clutch. Clutch, rev, clutch. There it is, it's going up around 14 and 15, that's good. Clutch the neutral, rev, clutch the gear. Clutch the neutral, rev, clutch the gear. Clutch the neutral, rev, clutch the gear. So you see he's doing his footwork. And his, and his, clutch the neutral, rev, clutch the gear. Clutch the neutral, rev, clutch the gear. There it is. So what you need to do, it's practice, practice. And I'm telling you, you get in the truck, practice that simple coordination skills, motor skills, it's gonna make you a good shifter. Is it correct? That's correct. All about coordination a little bit. That's trying to correct. get your hands. Not, it's not easy as it looks, but if you take the time to practice, it's gonna pay off. 